We are less than three months away from President Duterte's target for a third telco player to start operating in the country. But just how will the government be able to usher in this new player? Philippine Competition Commissioner Johannes Bernabe is in the studio with us to share his insights. Commissioner Bernabe, welcome to The Big Story. Thank you. So a lot of excitement, obviously, understandably, both with the public and with the, with the private sector. Uh, but let's start with something very basic, Spectrum. Uh, any updates uh, in particular with Smart and Globe's uh, uh, case before the PCC on the, on the Spectrum being challenged? And that's so vital for any third player. Yes, the Philippine Competition Commission appealed the decision of the Court of Appeals denying us our right to review the transaction involving PLDT and Globe's acquisition of San Miguel's telco assets. We have appealed it before the Supreme Court and we expect the Supreme Court to give it preferential attention given the uh, serious public interest involved in the provision of telecommunication services. Yes. Hopefully within the next year or two, the Supreme Court will be able to issue its decision on our appeal. So a year or two that runs up against with this government, the president has a lot of self-imposed targets, this ambitious uh, um, intention to bring in a, a third telco player, in particular the president wants a third telco player, he said by the second quarter of this year. How do, how do the realities in court and this challenge and this debate over the spectrum uh, realistically affect uh, any potential or any viability of a third telco player? Well, the government has to fulfill its role of an enabler in terms of foreign investments coming in. And we believe that in this case, the government has to ensure that sufficient frequencies are made available to a prospective third player. And there are ways to make that frequency available not by, without having to wait for a Supreme Court decision? That might be possible because if you recall, during the approval process of the NTC of the right to co-use frequencies, mm. which were given to Smart and uh, Globe in the context of their acquisition of uh, SMC's assets. Uh, so this is to co-use, specifically we're still talking about the 700 megahertz. That is uh, correct. Yeah, so. That is correct. It imposed a condition that within one year from the date of approval of the co-use, Smart and Globe have to ensure that there is increased capacity both in terms of broadband and internet access speed and that this one year period has already lapsed and therefore NTC should be able to make a determination whether the right of co-use should be retained or whether or not certain frequencies should in fact be clawed back and allocated in favor of a prospective third telco player. They can in fact also say well, maybe you don't need all the frequencies that we allowed you to co-use. And instead of letting you continue using them under the co-use agreement, we are now going to allocate it in favor of the third player. That is a possibility that uh, we in the PCC uh, see as being possible. Okay. Um, you, the, the, the PCC, of course, is looking out. The mandate essentially at bottom looks out for the... For the interest of the public, of the consuming public, you, of course, I, I cannot imagine, I do not imagine that the PCC has any sway over the Supreme Court on how fast mm -hmm. they will move. Mm -hmm. But does the PCC have any mandate to then push the NTC a little bit further on this other track? Well, they are a co-equal agency in government, and uh, the most that we can do perhaps is to encourage them to pursue their review, which is their mandate under these terms of the co-use agreement that they approved, and maybe you know, exercise some discretion in terms of what would benefit the consumers the most. Mm. Uh, should we, in fact, ensure that internet speed, telecom services are provided to our consumers through a possible third player and enable that third player to really have all the assets that will enable it to impose a competitive constraint on the current incumbents in the telco industry. Commissioner Bernabe, thank you for joining us in The Big Story.